Is it too late to become an aircraft mechanic? No. But this is a question I get a lot. And in this episode, we're gonna dive further into it. Welcome back to Grease Monkey Gab. Random thoughts of an aircraft mechanic from the commute. We've had to hold off for a bit doing these because it's just been a bit too dark on my commute home and, and I just don't think I'd be that interesting in the morning. So is it too late to become an aircraft mechanic? There's really two ways to look at this question, the industry and the individual. And as far as the industry is concerned, it's really not too late. I had it in another video, but Boeing forecasted in a report last year that the industry would need almost 700,000. What? Yes, that's right, 700,000 aircraft mechanics just to maintain the fleet in the next 20 years. That's a whole lot of mechanics we need. And sure, that's mostly the airlines. And even if that's not what you want to do, when other people move up, now there's a vacuum underneath. Who's going to fill those positions? Not to mention the growing segments of unmanned vehicles, uh, electric aviation, and avionics. There's really no other way of looking at it. It is not too late in the industry to become an aircraft mechanic. They want you now. Honestly, they probably wanted you yesterday, but if you're not on the journey yet, start now. But the other way of looking at it here at number two, and what I really think is at the root of this question is the individual. I'm afraid they may be asking, is it too late for them? What are we talking about then? Are we talking about age? I mean, I'm almost 40. I've had a couple various careers, we'll say, leading up to this point, and now I'm working as an apprentice. I've got a buddy that had a career as an airline pilot retired at, I believe, the mandatory age of 60, and then became an apprentice in a local shop and got his A&P and then his IA. We have a young guy helping out at the shop right now, you know, when he's not in school. One of his fellow classmates is in his 60s too. So what's your excuse? Engine breaking. If you're young, you're still in high school, or maybe even you graduated, you might be the best candidate for going to school. But that doesn't mean you have to be. If you're married with kids, you got a mortgage, well, you're probably better off going the apprentice route like I am. At least then you're getting paid to do the job and both have their pros and cons. Maybe you think school is expensive. Well, it is. But going to a state school is gonna be a lot more expensive than going to say like a community college. And there's ways to mitigate that issue too. Maybe you made some mistakes when you were younger and now you got a criminal record. You know, I'm not the hiring manager, but uh, I don't think that takes you out of it altogether. It may be harder to get a job with like the airlines, but I, I can't see you not being able to get somewhere with like a small piston GA shop. I mean, the whole industry is hurting for people. I, you know, you might need to talk to a few employers before you start this journey. I, I don't know. I remember reading about an organization that was taking at-risk youth uh, who probably had juvie records and teaching them how to restore vintage aircraft. That didn't count them out. But really, at the end of the day, it's up to you. You have to go after it. Do you have the willpower, the courage, the patience even, and determination to go after what you want? You know, I heard a really good quote recently. Let's say, for things to change, you have to change. And for things to get better, you have to get better. As my hat says, doers are better than donors, so do it.